everybody and welcome to Flock Talk. Now Mr. Toto here destroyed most of the toys that were in his room already so we're gonna go ahead and make him some new ones today. Now I'm not too sure if Toto's actually gonna come join us since he's a pretty nervous guy. Ideally I would have my toy parts and stuff set out and I'd let him kind of pick uh, the things that interest him and I would make toys based off of that. Um, but he's a pretty nervous guy, so I don't think he's going to join us. So what I'm going to do instead is kind of think about the toys that are already in his room, what things he's already been playing with, and make my decision based on that. So I have all of my toy parts separated into bags, kind of vaguely organized by the kind of thing or material they're made out of or things I usually use them with or colored versus natural. Eventually I'm going to upgrade to better storage, but we're still recovering from making this bird room. So that's something that's going to come way, way, way later. Um, but I'm a very visual person, so I like to lay out everything that I have and kind of see what pops into my head and what I could possibly make. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Even though I already do have a pretty good idea of the kinds of parts that I have and what things I usually kind of make, sometimes it's easier for me just to see the things and suddenly have an idea as to what to do with them. Okay, so I know Toto has been loving solo wood and finger traps. These are kind of the same texture as finger traps. I know it's all the fun stuff, eh? It's all the fun stuff. These ones aren't gonna be for you though. You've got plenty. You've already got all the fun things. This is gonna be for your new friend. Let's start with that. You gonna be my handy helper? I forgot scissors. So I always cut the string last because it doesn't matter when I cut it, I always make it the wrong length. And it ends up being shorter because I never account for the knots that have to take place. So we'll do that after. He has a big head, so he's gonna need the big ones. <laughs> that sounded so rude. The other ones are quite small. Toto's head can't fit into these for small pellets and treats. So we're gonna use the big cups exclusively for Mr. Toto. <laughs> I swear I'm not trying to be rude. <laughs> He is a pretty chewy guy, so I think we're going to use some of these Live Edge wood discs. That Newt's not as big on the hardwoods, but Toto's actually been chewing at the natural branches in this room uh, whenever he's down here to visit, so I think he might enjoy having those. I'll keep those out for now. I'm not sure what I want to do with them. Let's just start threading stuff on and see what we come out with. I kind of hate the colors that the finger traps came in on this last order. They're so neon and it's just, <laughs> the birds don't mind, but it's just not, not my aesthetic, you know? <laughs> so the first thing that goes on is going to be the bottom of the toy. So I'm going to choose to put one of these little stars on the bottom just because they have a nice tight hole. So it'll make it easy for me to tie a knot and have the toy stay. Let's pop some finger traps on. To be perfectly clear here, I don't really have much of a system. I just kind of thread parts on that I think my birds will enjoy. When it comes to making them look pretty, I do find aiming for some degree of symmetry helps a lot. So making repeating patterns. If you're doing like multiple sides, making the sides match. There's a lot of things you can do just to make it the whole toy seem a bit more unified. Whereas if you put on like a bunch of different toy parts and nothing repeats and it, it ends up looking a bit messy. At least that's how I find personally. Obviously your bird is not an interior designer. Your bird is not going to care if there's repeating patterns or not. I mean, they might. You might have a particularly picky bird. So I use these big cups for pellet foraging. So what I'm going to do for Toto, because he's learning, is I'm not going to make this as challenging as I would for Newt. Um, so like putting a cup inside a cup can be really difficult for them to get an edge on. So I'm not going to do that for Toto. I want to leave this so it's pretty easy for him to just grab the edge and pull it open. And I'm trying to decide what's going to be best to do that with. Ooh, let's do this. That might be fun. You've got a little boingy spiral guy. So let's just pop it in and then that will help keep the lid lifted but he should still be able to mm, is that going to stop him from getting the treats you know we'll give it a try and if he has a hard time we can always adjust it finger traps are a good toy part to use because you don't need any tools to use them you can just use your fingers to separate the different fibers if you kind of squish it and then pull them apart it's pretty easy for you to get your string in if you're someone like me who had to make their toys in their bedroom with zero tools available to them. Little things like that can make this a whole lot more accessible. What's it gonna hurt to have another 
flower. These ones can be a little bit more touchy, but usually you can just kind of pull them open with your thumb and get them in pretty easily. I don't like that. It's fine. The first one I make is always <laughs> ugly. We at least have one toy down and it's one more toy than Toto had 10 minutes ago. I'm just going to tie a basic knot in the top because I am out of hooks to hang toys with. So we're going to leave it nice and big. So how tight I make this is going to compress that spring on the inside and make this more challenging. So I'm just going to kind of fiddle or Newt is going to help me fiddle uh, with the tightness here and figure out where is going to be, here we go, easy enough for Toto to be able to grab. And then we are going to cut our string, tie a knot, and pray that we didn't cut it too short. There we go. Toy one. Maybe not the prettiest thing on the planet, but it'll do, and it's holding the cup open really easily, so it should make foraging quite simple for Toto. Let's maybe try and make one without the cups, since that's my, like, default toy that I go to. Okay, I said he liked solo wood. And the only reason why I'm avoiding it is because solo wood is expensive and breaks very easily. So I prefer using it where I know it's going to last a bit longer. Jellyfish. I have a coconut and a coconut has a hole pre-drilled in it. That could be fun. Ooh, let's do cork. I'm thinking we try and make a toy that looks like a jellyfish. So we do like the coconut head. We just put this in for funsies and add a little bit more support to our like jellyfish skull situation. And then we'll have a bunch of strings made mostly of these that hang down. Toto has been shredding through in this room. And just to be clear, Toto hasn't moved into this room yet. Toto just comes in uh, for visitation and we're practicing being able to exist in the same space and leave Newt alone. Uh, so he's getting some supervised time in the room to learn all those life skills. It just seemed too plain just doing the straight wood legs. But I think having the little corks will add a bit more fun. Is this gonna look like I want it to? Maybe not. That would have been fun underneath. Oh yeah, we're doing it. This is what I mean by I have absolutely no system. I just kind of start putting toys together and sometimes I decide I like it and sometimes I decide that I don't. That's the beauty of making them yourself. You can change your idea. That looks so much better. That looks way more like a jellyfish. And then I can like fill this with the, oh, I have ideas now. Okay, we have a one-legged jellyfish. How on earth to get multiple legs to happen? I'm thinking I can pop them through the star and just tie a knot on the other side. If it breaks, it breaks. It's a bird toy. They're supposed to. It's fine. You're having a bath at this time? Oh, buddy. Yeah. Soggy boy. Well, a lightly soggy boy. We'll do each leg a little different because then I'll make it a bit more fun. We'll just do like three of these. As I always say, if it looks bad, it's okay. They're meant to get chewed up anyways. We're doing something. Woo, don't break. And another one. It's always the joys of a new bird. You can invest so much time into making something and have absolutely no idea whether or not it will have been worth your time. If he doesn't like it, I'm sure Newt would. More string and the birds are being adorable. Ooh, look at them. All right, I'm gonna call that a jellyfish. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna stuff paper in the top and then I could always hide like treats and stuff inside the core of the coconut. And then he can pull some of that paper out and have fun with it and it'll kind of liven up our jellyfish friend. Let's see if we can at least make one more. What do I want to do with these? Like I got these random coconut chips because they were cheap, but I just don't know what to do with them. So I think I'm going to just randomly drill holes and then decide what to do with these in a minute. They're definitely way softer than I thought they were going to be when I ordered them, which is nice because I thought they were just going to be rock solid pieces. This is also not the safest way to use a power tool. Don't do this. kind of want to use that yeah, and we'll put a coconut piece. This is going to be just a simple, random mishmash. I'm not going to incorporate foraging into this like I do with literally everything. Ooh, we should use those. Oh, and I've got these still. Not now, not now. Stay focused. Just randomly thread them on. Wait until a pattern emerges and go with that. I do hope he plays with this. The coconut seems like it would be a really fun texture. I'm just not sure if... Uh, if it'll pique his interest or not. There we go. Put a bing. We'll do one more. 
Doesn't have to be anything super fancy, as long as the birds like it. That's all it's got to do, really. Nope, oh, oh, there we go. Give it a loop at the top and tie a knot at the bottom. Easy peasy, simple one. And this one I could use for foraging since it's got that material on it. I could easily tuck some, some seeds and stuff in there. Another one down. <laughs> Where are you going? Let's see if I can even drill through this without breaking it. I can. Now what am I going to do with it? I know this is going to be the bottom. I might put another one of these. We'll make this Newt's toy. Do I want to fight with rings right now though? No. Yeah, let's drill some more coconut. For anybody freaking out about me drilling straight into this table, um, it's what this table is for. This table has a lot of holes in it, distinctly because it's a garbage table that we were going to get rid of otherwise. So this is its exclusive purpose now. I don't know how many I need. There you go, Toto. He's learning. He just flew outside of the room and could not figure out how to get back in. So I'm thinking something like that. <clears throat> we get our coconut bits. Maybe a solo wood stick. Then some more coconut bits. Maybe we'll go forager and then coconut bit. No, co mm. maybe if we use a large coconut bit as like a lid. There's nothing in it yet. <laughs> this one will be for you though. Yeah, what do you think? It's empty, it's an empty forager, buddy. <laughs> so that's gonna be our lid. You can be down here if you want, but there's nothing down here yet. Yeah, you like the coconut? Why is that? It's kind of a fun texture, hey? You like that one too? Well, good. Let's hope you like it when it's attached to a string. That's how birds be sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna tie a knot. Sorry, Newt. We'll leave it as just the coconut. It feels unfinished, but I don't know what else to put there, so it's just gonna have to be fine. Then keep our knot kind of looser so the lid can still lift up and he can still get in there. This will be a pretty easy one for Newt, but it's fun and different, so he's at least got something. And we'll stop there. Four toys for one day ain't bad. So that will do it for today. As you can see, the birds are very much enjoying the new toys, so I will count them all as a success. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.